Linda. Parmi les I actually started doing my own thing. Like I pray at home, mm. but I believe in ancestors. Like really, oh, I really do. It's okay, like a cool. whole thing. You don't like ZTC, but your dad loves it. Doug, he used to force me. Yeah. Ah, when I got older, I was like, you can go alone. He doesn't <laughs> even go anymore. Like I thought you can rock it alone because no way. Is no, no. Music has changed. How it makes us feel never will. The time is now to visit mstudios.co.za. And uh, what a minute, ladies and gentlemen, we're back oh, at it. Yeah, Podcast and chill. I don't even know how to introduce you because normally I like to introduce the guest with what they're doing, but you're doing so many things. Yeah. I don't even know where to start. I start every, anyway. Sorry. Must I say, they're multi-talented. Uh, multi-talented, yeah. Let's Come on, pal. <laughs> uh, isn't there another word? Hey, yeah. Multi-talented is for everybody. What are you doing right now? You're doing music? I do music. I'm a choreographer. Hmm. I am an actress. Mm. Yeah, I'm just going to keep it at that. I don't want to do too many things. But just know whatever I am doing is always related to the dancing. Okay. So if I'm acting, I'm acting as a dancer. Mm. If I'm doing the music, it's because I can perform. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's crazy? Um, I hate seeing you on TV, bro. Why? Like, I hate it. Why? Because you remind me how old I'm getting. Because I used to work with your dad. How old are you? <laughs> <I'm> fucking old. <laughs> Like I'm sure you're not that old. I have you mentored you? Nah, no, no. We used to work together at really? YFM. Yeah, at YFM. Dog. Yeah. Are you like 40? No, 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 no. Not that old. Okay, Come okay, on. Okay. I now. was about to say, like, the conversation was gonna change now. Like, <laughs> sorry, Baba. <laughs> Did you ever go with your dad to, to YFM? Yeah. For real? Back when we were in Rosebank or Hyde Park? Uh, Rosebank. Rosebank? Yeah. So that apparently the there's a time him. where I just switched the whole thing off and you guys were live. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he told me that I think uh, Ashifa Shaba was doing a show mm -hmm. and in the studio there's like a button that if you press it, it's like it shuts the whole thing yeah, down. Yeah, it shuts the whole thing down. So apparently you pressed it and we were off air for like two minutes. For two minutes. <laughs> and I was like, dog, I don't even remember that day. Yeah. He could, How old were you with, with, at that time? I don't know. Two? Four? Two? Four? Four. Four, yeah. You were in studios at four? Yeah. No I was doing the like whole this. thing. <laughs> Did you go to gigs with them? Yeah. Which There's was... a time when I was on stage. I remember that day very well. I was on stage. Um, so it's like, uh, it was, the, you know why YFM used to throw like really big events. Yeah. You guys were like the biggest. Yeah. Okay, well, YFM was. Yeah. What well, is it? It still is, right? I don't know. You tell me you're the target market. I haven't really been to a YFM gig in a while. But at back then, it was like the whole thing. Then my dad put me onto stage with, while Mzega Zega was still the thing. Oh, wow. dog. I performed with Mzega Zega. I was like feeling like the coolest thing ever. You're kidding. Coolest in Africa, yeah. Fully. And and when you get on stage, are you like, oh fuck, this is what I want to do, ne? Mm, it's like let's rock. Yeah. I must make sure somebody cries or somebody claps or somebody collapses. Like one has to give, even if it's one in like ten thousand, it's something. Yeah. Mm. So your dad saw this coming. He like groomed you, ne? He made you. Well, he he supported me. That's what mm. I'd say. But uh, I just wanted to. I don't. I don't want him to run my career. So. Uh, he helped me till grade 10. Okay. Yeah, acting. I actually wanted to be an actress, like really. And then I actually tried it out and I was like, fuck this shit. Like you do you do one thing too many times. Yeah, the retakes Ew, are dog, nightmare. They hectic. I was like, no ways. So I started doing MC gigs on the side without him knowing. Mm. So he'd probably think, no, I'm at a friend's house, but I actually like do MC gigs. Which gigs are these? Uh, Just free MC gigs in Brum. All the Brum kids were still like the cool kids, you know. I used to do those MCing gigs for free. Um, he wouldn't know because I just didn't want him to handle anything. I wanted to take credit of the position that I'm in today. When you say MCing, are you talking about like Bonang MC or like Hype Man? Like, like in the club type shit? Hype Man. Hype Man, I do both. Yeah, I've done some corporate gigs as well. Wow. Yeah. Fuck, is there anything you haven't done, Come. Dog, what do you mean? There's still more <laughs> coming. I mean, why not? <laughs> <laughs> and how was it growing up uh, MD in, in, in Soweto? Dog, so basically, I I was born in Mdeni, you know? so it's and then my dad, a papa, so we chilled, and then we moved to the burbs, you know. But my mom stayed in Mdeni, so I always used to go back there because I just liked that vibe so much. I don't like 
the burbs. They too quiet, man. Mm. You know? And I always used to like, Ipati, you know those fun stuff that our sisters don't experience these days. So I always used to go back to the hood just to ch- touch base. So your parents, uh, were they together still? Like when no, you were no, 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 no. Oh, no. so you decided to stay with your dad? Yeah. Oh, shit. Why was that? Why didn't you stay with Because I was your mom? daddy's girl. Oh. I'm cool with my mom, but like daddy has something. Like, and your dad actually allows you to get away with more stuff than your mom would. Oh so, yeah. yeah And he's a cool guy eh? <laughs> he's, he's very relaxed So I used to get away With the lords uh, Are you religious like him? Uh, Yeah So you've been to The ZCC church I don't like I don't like ZCC dog But I'm very Ancestral More than Churches Because churches Have a whole lot of stuff mm. That I don't I don't want somebody Leading my beliefs So I actually started Doing my own thing Like I pray at home mm. But I believe in ancestors Like Really, oh, I really do. It's okay, like a cool. whole thing. You don't like ZCC, but your dad loves it. Doug, he used to force me. Yeah. Ah, when I got old, I was like, you can go alone. He doesn't <laughs> even go anymore. Like I thought you can rock it alone because no way is no no. You've been to Maria scene. though. I've been to Maria. Ah, it's fucking beautiful. No way. What? No. Ah, I love it, man. Shit is weird. No networks. It's just not it. Doug. It's <laughs> not it. <laughs> I mean, no offense to the ZCC people, but you go to church. You worried about network? Doug, obviously, I'm young. I don't want to be chilling, listening to a uh, a Betty guy speaking the whole time. I want to be on my phone and rocking. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, I was like, nah, nah that makes sense. the vibes. <laughs> nah, I hear you. And then, like, what high school did you go to? I went to Kibla Park. They used to call it Shack High, guys. Mm. Yeah, it was like a container school. I liked it because it was still, I was supposed to go to Mondio High. And then I was just like, nah, Mondio has too many rules. So I went to a school where we could create our own rules. Yeah. For like the first three years, because it was still like a new school. When I was coming up, Mondio had the hardest girls, man. Yeah, Mondio was like the ish. I don't know now. And then when you were coming up, it was was it the same or Kibla had like hot girls? No, no, no. Mondio. I feel like Mondio, Tlin Vista. Mm. Uh, what's this other place? I think Mondio and Tlin Vista are top two of nice Betty's, but they... Oh, oh, what? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they belong to the streets. I thank you for Mondio. Like you probably been like with the whole whole class of names. And those honeys were really hectic. Yeah, and that was bad. And then did you end up finishing your your course at uh, Boston? No, for I'm supposed real? to go back. Yeah, I did my first year, and then I blew up while I was still doing my first year. But I managed to finish my first year. And then this year is a bit of, it's very hectic. Yeah. So I'm trying to maybe see next year. I doubt because it's about to get more hectic. So you only did one year? Mm. Shit. But how do you end up choosing that course? Because like, um, it looks like dancing has been your thing. You mm-hmm. love dancing. And that course like radio production, TV has nothing to do with dancing. Well, personally, I didn't want to blow up because of my dancing. Mm. And that's why I feel like maybe it came so organically. Because I wanted to do radio. I wanted to be a presenter, TV presenting. You know, that's why I took the course that I did. And then uh, I started dancing and then people started taking videos. That's how I blew up. Actually. Yeah, 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 everybody knows Which you. You're crazy, blow up. Yeah. So at that time, you're still at Boston. Mm, I was still at Boston hustling. People just used to take videos of me and I was just doing it because I'm doing it, dog. It wasn't like, even at my MC gigs, I never used to dance. Yeah. Yeah, I used to just rock a couple of moves, but it would usually be about like the present. I wanted to train my voice to be able to speak to people, you know, yeah, yeah. not dancing, no. Nah. And then now, um, when do you decide, okay, fuck it, I'm not going to do this course anymore? Dog, I was still rocking it. I was supposed to rock it this year, second year. Mm. But by the beginning of the year, I, my life was hectic, eh? I yeah. was bad. And when you tell your dad that and your mom, are they like, all right, shut up? No, I wanted to continue. I actually wanted to do part-time. But it's impossible because I tried for a couple of months, but I wasn't coping. And I, I'm not going to pay 60, 70K for nothing. Yeah. No. And what do your parents say? They they for it or like? They for My mom just says I need to go back. I still even want to go back, but yeah. she just said I need to go back You can't right go back now. to Boston now. I dude. have to, dog. <laughs> you, I want to. You're famous, bro. Dog, what do you mean? <laughs> I, want, I just want to go back and like get the couple, a couple of stuff, man. Like TV production thing. Maybe one day I can own a production company. Yeah. Because yeah, this thing doesn't last that long, eh? Yeah. Unless I leave like internationally or whatever. What do you mean this thing doesn't last that long? The fame. The fame doesn't last that long. So mm. you have to make the most of it right now. That's what people don't understand. It's not a lifetime thing. It can be a lifetime thing where you're like legendary, but it's like you, you're you not hot forever because there's always new talent coming up. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. So if you're cognizant of that, why do it then? 
because you love it. It doesn't feel like a job. That's why you can wake up at 5 a.m. or sleep the whole night in studio or do certain stuff because you enjoy it and it doesn't feel like a... And you're not working for anybody. That's what I like because I can make my own decisions. I can spend money if I want to. I can drop a 60K right now and still like, just look the other side and swipe a platform. from, <laughs> you know, I have to work for it for like... And then I have to ask boss, please give me a raise. Nah, dog. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to be in that position. Yeah. No. And a lot of people think like, you know, obviously because you got your fame, some would say overnight. Mm-hmm. Do you have those fears that like it's gonna go overnight as well? No, mm. I didn't get my fame overnight because mm. mm. that's what I was. I started hustling in grade in high school. Mm. That's what people don't know, mm. you know. That's the backstory, and that's, exactly, and that's why I've never. My story turned out differently to other people that blew up via social media in South Africa. You know what I'm saying? There's been a number of people that had the chance but didn't take it the whole way because maybe they want ready or maybe they weren't educated enough to make the right ready? choices yeah when it came I was like let's go I was like this is my time so you knew it I, yeah. when it came I was like I didn't know how it would come I didn't know it would come last year but when it started coming I was like yes this is the time Lord you're answering my prayers let's go yeah. let's rock with fun as yeah so now you're popping that video goes viral you're getting gigs everybody's loving you Um, how does the fame taste like I'm not after the fame so it's like doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter at all. Mm-hmm. Fuck out of here. I'm telling you. Nah, bro. I'm t- like, I feel like I'm still on the come up. People think I've made it. I'm, I'm still on the come up. You got 600,000 people that following thing. your Instagram. Dog, that's not thing. I still, there's a couple of stuff that I still want to do. There's a, like what? I still want to leave. I really want to be an international artist. I still want to have an impact differently on it I don't want to stay in South Africa personally like mm. even if I blew up from here they can take credit for me being from here but this is not my destination the end goal is to be legendary so I can't do sounds that sounds like you want to get as far away from ZTC as possible no no I'm not I'm leaving dog ZTC all these churches dog like I'm out like I want to go to the churches where we sing and we praise you know the whole thing <laughs> I'm joking guys no, no, I'm joking <laughs> okay cool but then um because you're from here and you blew up here, mm-hmm. at what point do you decide then, fuck it, this is not for me? Like, I think, I think like something must have happened to like turn you off or like make you want to leave the country so bad. Uh, I've, stud- I've studied the game and how it works. And I've seen a whole lot of stuff that just put me off. You like know? what? Like I've seen Casper's the biggest person but he still fights for his position somehow to convince people that he's actually the best. I don't want to go through that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Apart from that, look at the likes of Nasty. They're doing pretty well and out of South Africa. They're going, they're reaching bigger heights, you know? Because there's only so much you can do in your own country. It's like Philip. Philip was the biggest. And then what's next? Mm. You know, it's easy to get to the top, but it's hard to stay at the top. So how are you supposed to stay at the top if you've already reached a maximum in South Africa? So that's why you have to leave and go keep getting better. So it sounds to me like your dreams are bigger than the country. Mm. 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 Peace! It's a shout out! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Where do you want to go? Do you want to go to America, UK? Where you I don't thinking? know, dog. As you long as it's out of the country. Have, like, you, have, you, have you been out the, outside the country? No, I've been to like Lesotho, like yeah, this yeah, side. You yeah. know, I've been outside the, the country, but I've never been outside of Africa. Mm. And that's something I really want to try out. Because I also like travel. Mm. You know, just try new stuff, man. Hey, the world is so big, dog. Yeah. I can't be chilling in South Africa. Would you pack your bags, go to America, not knowing anyone and just like figure it out there? Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Shit, that's but crazy. But it's like, it's a risk taking. Like, I'm a risk taker. Yeah. There's excitement in that. Like, it's like, shit, I need to figure this shit out. Now you're chilling because you're comfortable. It's like, it just, you lose the whole thing, man. Yeah. It's not nice. Tell me about uh, some of the idols that, you, you know, you like worshipped growing up. Like, whether it was choreography or music. Who, who did you look up to? Oh, did I look up to anybody? Mm. I don't have like a specific idol. There's just certain things that I take from certain individuals. Okay. Yeah, it's like probably Beyonce's performance. Nah, let's keep it local. Everybody loves Beyonce. Let's keep it no, local. No, no, man. I'm just like looking at the way she performs. I don't like really anything much about her, but like the quality of the performance is really crazy. And that's because I've never seen it this side. You know, obviously you don't want to do it the way they do it, but it's like, just look at the level that she's been at. Locally, uh, I've seen a couple of Dope personalities. 
No one tickles your fancy. No. Apart from I've seen Busisa perform. She's she's a lot on stage. I like I like her performances. She has this energy, you know. But anybody else, nah. I never used to follow any celebrities. I've never done any of those things. Cause you remind <sighs> me of like a new school Chomi. People's uh, you didn't know Chomi? I knew her, but like I, I don't think that, man. For real? You didn't aspire to anyone growing up? That's crazy. I like their music. Yeah. I like their dance moves. Yeah. But it was never a thing that I want to be like her or no. Nah. Whose music did you like? Um, who's me? Arthur, Chomi. Mm. I like their music. You know, mm. Nige. Is it Nige? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Nige Labu. <laughs> you know, he's just trying to cross across like everything. But anything else, that dog guy. Yeah. Like, I just... Uh, I don't like these stories, yeah. you know, how they came up and how a man was in charge of everything that they do. Oh, no, 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 no. So it's like, I can't look up to somebody who doesn't empower me to actually be in control of what I do. Mm. So it can never be like that now. That's deep, bro. It's That's real deep. talk. Yeah. It is real talk. The reason why I wanted to, uh, why I was asking you if you have an idol, because mm-hmm. I remember growing up, like, I, you all have idols, you know, like, so apart from you. Apart from me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you get in the game and you meet your idol and they turn it's out like, to be like that's ah, not what I expected I so I wondered if you went through something like that yeah I went through a couple of stuff people where I thought they were cool but nah who was who that? Mm-mm. no I don't want trouble trouble for what? they're gonna watch this next thing they're coming nah, at me on I Twitter don't watch this the thing, way people man. are coming at each other on Twitter <laughs> Like, you need to keep your name out of my mouth. I don't, I don't want those type of shit. <laughs> I don't want to drive a dog, but I've met a couple of people where I was just like, they nodded. But that, I think it was, I even, I was live the other day and people were asking me questions. Like, I want to meet you so much. I'm like, dude, if I'm your idol, don't meet me. Mm. Not because I'm a shitty person, but because you probably won't, what you think of me is probably not what I am. Mm. And don't put pressure on me to be what you make of me. You know, that's the whole thing. It's like, we've put people like, yo, she's like this, she's like that. And then when you meet her, you're disappointed. But that's because you made a picture of yourself. You know? Why did that person disappoint you? What did they do? You don't have to say The anything. energies, man. Like, mm. even the way she is. Just not the, she's not the level. She's not cool, man. It's not the way she presents herself to the public. Mm. And it's not even... I've I've made a couple of females in the game where I'm like, yo, you're doing so well. You know, I'd like to learn from you. But yeah. which you song know? did she do? No, she's not a. Uh... <laughs> 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 Wait, are you trying to dig me up, No, 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 no. There's two. There's two. There's two. But yeah, let's just keep. <laughs> there's two, and they're like they used to be cool, and then they were not cool anymore. Yeah. It was like actually, you all, y'all are both fucked up people. You actually should be best friends. <laughs> but actually, it's like that's why they don't get along as well. Fuck, are you gonna tell me? Hey, fuck, I wonder who no this way. is, bro. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. Let's talk about the music. Mm-hmm. Song that fucking takes your career to another level for me. Mm-hmm. I first heard of you, uh, Jobe. Mm-hmm. How did that song come about? So what happened was uh, this is actually how I blew up. Uh, I was promoting the Jobby gig because I was an MC. I was promoting the Jobby song. Yo, what's good, guys? Uh, come to the Jobby party. Haring your body. Yo, mm. haring your body. That was you? Yeah, dog with the cab. I'm dying, I look so crushed, dusty, but it's fine. <laughs> Where's your dad? <laughs> <laughs> dog, don't do that. Like, he actually didn't see that video until like late last year and then he was freaking out. Like, dude, relax. Because he didn't understand how it happened that I'm on a song yeah, yeah, I just made it like no it was a dancing video that I took dog don't worry yeah. they heard it he was going crazy yeah. so um, I was promoting Jobe from Jobe oh JR saw that video JR Rich Mahog you know all the big dogs in oh, the game wow. like actually we want to come to this party we want, we want to meet these honeys you know and then Jobe, uh, JR was like I'm actually coming for that song JR mm. wow. like he's coming for the Jobber song Shop, come to the party MC vibes nice vibes you know you're looking cute at that time I thought it was cute but anyway it's yeah. fine yeah it was like vibes and then JR met Jobber um, they spoke whatever they spoke mm. uh, Rich Mahog took my number posted me on Twitter mm. I got the viewership that I needed mm. And then J- a jobber hit me up like, yo, JR says we need a female on the song and I think you can be that female. Wow. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah. So JR produced the track? 
No, no, no. The song Jobe was... That's what people don't know. The song Jobe was already Jobe. The song done. Oh. I just put my vocals so it can get radio play. Oh, yes. and that was based on that what was, JR was, said. Like, not, yeah. He was oh. just like, okay, the song needs a female so it can get radio play. And he wasn't involved in the song anyway. He was just like, yo, put it on. Mm. It'll like get just, into radio. Yeah. We That's need vocals. So we need vocals for for it to play on radio because it can't be the same thing the whole time. I was like, okay, cool, let's jump on. Then it was like a How really nice good song. It? So dope. <laughs> Unlike those two other ladies that you were talking about, hmm. the ones you don't like. <laughs> Game is hectic. <laughs> Um, yeah, I've been dribbled, guys. No, it's really bad. Yo, the game is hectic. I'm just trying to teach people, but I realize people actually don't talk about what shit you go through. Okay, you hear now. Tell us. Getting scammed and shit. Like you get scammed, you get rocked. Uh, they take rocked? You. What do you mean? Like rocked, rocked? No, no, like I didn't even know that Jobby Song had, had splits or oh. anything like that. You know, the percentages, yeah. people trying to get you to sign contracts because they're trying to hold you down. You know, I was just really blessed because I was on some, my, my life can change in six months. And if I'm going to sign a three-year contract, that's going to fuck me up because yeah. there's certain people that can't take you through the certain stages of life that you have to go through. So I could be here right now. You could be the right person. In six months, that all changes. Yeah. He could be the next person that can take me to the next level. You know, because not everybody's equipped for everything that you need to get to the next level. So it was like really hectic. I've went through that with a couple of songs where I actually didn't get the money from it. Jobber, did you get some money? No. Wow. Nothing. But it's fine. Who wanted you to sign a deal for three years? JR. JR, he wanted to sign you. He, wanted, he signed Job eh, for like a year, I think. I'm not sure how that worked out. But yeah. yeah but me, he's still in contact with Job eh? Yeah, I'm still cool with Job eh, but there was like a bit of drama after I didn't want to sign the contract, actually. Mm. A bit of drama between myself and Job eh. That's why I'm not even on the Job eh music video. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wondered why you're not there, hey? I just didn't go. I was like, actually, nah, I don't need this type of shit. No, guys, people look dope. Hey? People in the industry are dope, but I'm just being real. That's yeah. like people, what people don't know mm. about what really happens. But you need to tell the stories, you I know, because be there's real. another Kamupela who's coming, you know, making it. Yeah, they must not rock you. Kamupela 2.0. No, baby. <laughs> don't go through it. It's fine. <laughs> no, people mustn't come at me. But that's just the truth, guys. I'm, be I'm here for the truth, man. But you know it happens to everybody, right? What happens? Like everybody, everybody gets goes through yeah, it. Yeah, everybody, everybody goes through it. In the beginning, yeah, it's especially. Bad. It's yeah. Really bad. It's like, but that's how you learn. That's how you learn, you know? Real talk. Um, so you go through that. Are you not discouraged and like, ah, fuck this music thing. Let me try Boston again. No, 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 no. When I went through it, I was like, it's fine. It's like a payment into the industry. It's a sacrifice. Ah, you know, you're just sacrificing that because you know there's bigger coming. And that's what I've always understood. So even if I'd go through something, it's not about the money. Because if you're after the money, you'd be fucked. So many people have been after the money and they lost everything because mm. they want money now. But if you understand that I actually have to go through the shit to have millions later on, then it doesn't matter because you're going to make that money, all the money that you lost now. Mm. And in hindsight, are you glad you didn't sign that three-year contract? Yes, I'm glad. I'm not glad because... Uh, I didn't want to be signed, but I feel like in the position that I'm in today, if I had signed, I wouldn't be in this position. Mm. Mm. So Major League comes. When when do you sign with them? I never signed to Major League. Oh, you're not signed to Major yeah, League? Yeah, it was just a, a public signing. Okay. It's just to help the Gamon Pillar brand. You know when you just like... Oh, like a co-sign. yeah. Oh. An association thing. Like Gamon Pillar signed to Major League. You know, but I'm actually not signed to Major League. Oh, shit. So who are you signed to? Myself. Oh, I'm shit. I'm Dope. Cup. Fuck. Thank you. <laughs> dope. So you got your masters and everything. Everything. Fuck, I do everything that's myself. That's dope. <laughs> yeah. oh, and you're all 16. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stop with the fucking thing of yours. <laughs> no, why can you say that? I'm not that young. No, I'm, I'm 20. I'm, I'm 16. That's dope, bro. Fuck. Mm. So now all the money's coming to you. Yeah. Uh, in your so, team, you got two, two, no? I have Tutu, yeah. Tutu, yeah, Tutu Buttons my does my management. Yeah, Tutu's Super my girl. Cool. She's so dope. So your dad, does he help you out as well? Yeah, he helps. My dad helps with like, here. you see you getting yeah, a yeah, hold yeah. of me because yeah, he's yeah. part of the game. Yeah. He helps with uh, on the road stuff because I have a driver. But in the same breath, I don't want to exhaust him because you know, we're always traveling. So my dad just comes on the road to make sure that I'm okay as well. So how do you meet Major League? How I met Major League? Um, I was at Moja. And then Jobby was playing and they were playing Jobby, you know. So it was like a whole thing, vibe, everything, you know, everybody's vibing out. Everybody's in the moment. Yeah. But I feel like that was the first time they actually saw me. But I knew Foka because they were there with Foka. Oh. 
So Foka came to greet me, everything sharp. And then um, they DM'd me like, yo, come do studio with Foka. Mm. Then I went there, went to do studio with Foka, rocked Foka, I started doing gigs with them, the Iverson tour, all those things. Mm. And then my previous management was like wilding. Mm. And then I was like, actually, bye. Let's, let's go to Major League way. Wow. And I joined Major League. And they don't want anything from you? No. They just took uh, my bookings. It was an agreement, 20%, because I used to record in their studio and bookings and everything, because they really did help my brand. No. I won't even lie, the association did a lot for me. Yeah. Put me in a different position. This guy's a huge... People started taking me serious in the game, because everybody was just like, oh, this girl who dance at Rewards. Yeah. Now it's just the thing of, yeah, come up here, what's up, baby? I was like, yeah. yeah. It's actually crazy. When when you meet Focalistic, because uh, we're not privy to that, like some of us, I've never met him, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, but the guy's so good. Yeah, he's a dope. He's a dope guy. When Very you meet good. him, are you like, "Fuck, this guy's dope. I gotta work with him." No, for real. That's because I made like we have. How many tracks do we have? We have a lot of tracks. Yeah, I've I met him before. Like I became that big. Oh, yes. so you you knew so him? I knew him. Yeah. Oh, okay. We used to speak and everything like that, and then we went into studio. That was our first time going into studio. Yeah. Then it's like, yeah, we have a couple of tracks. Even now, we were recording last week. Yeah. Isn't it pressure when you record a vocalistic? Because he's like... He's lyrical, but I like that. And when are you coming in with chicken and beef? Ah, dog. <laughs> chicken and beef. Dog, he just... He motivates me. I would like... He motivates me to be lyrical, but not like him. Mm. So it's like, be dope in your own way because uh, I also I also can't allow people to come take my position. Mm. But in the same breath, be yourself. So say less, because he's really dope lyrically, but I can never be him. I don't want to be him. Is that how uh, Santon comes about? Like you guys just chilling at Pori's house and you know. Santon was actually planned, eh? What? Yeah. For real? Yeah. Pori came with like, because Buntle had a trending uh, video that uh, he has sent in Jomi. Mm. I don't know if you know that video. Yeah, yeah. And then Pori was like, okay, you guys need to come into the studio and record a song according to yeah, sense and true. So he knew you had yeah. to be on the song. Pori's a Pori's crazy dog, I'm telling you. That that's why he has so many hits. That guy, like I don't understand how he thinks. It's crazy, but he has it. Like he really has it. Yeah. It's crazy. Something And else. you trust him at this point. Yeah, like. it's like dog, I can even rock now, go steer a Pori, you know? Maybe a hit will come out. Not even maybe, maybe a guaranteed it. Maybe he can record five, two will be a hit. The guy, the guy is very tough. How do you meet him? At Moja as well. No, I met him my first time meeting him was when we recorded Santon. Because mm. he hit the twins up. Oh, yeah. the twins and Poria. Because it was me, Foka, and the twins. We mm. were all like rolling riding together. with yeah. the twins. Yeah. And then uh, he hit the twins up, like, nah, Foka, Bunte, let's go in studio. And then we just rocked. And then Santin came out. I actually didn't like the song yeah. until people started like jamming to it. Oh, that's a jam. And bro. I was like, okay, let's go. It's fine. Konja, what did you say? Uh, yeah, that's How better than chicken and, <laughs> <laughs> chicken and beef. The chicken and beef is like so catchy, dog. Don't come in my chicken and beef. Chicken. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh you nigga nigga, oh you, ch- <laughs> are you chicken? Are oh, you beef? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I was like, oh, that's weird, man. But it's like it's fine. <laughs> the chicken and beef is not that bad, dog. Yeah, no, it's no, no. It's, it's a vibe. Like you know what? You know what my what my friend told me because I come like. I'm old school, right? Mm-hmm. So when we're You're coming like up, old, yeah, Your grandfather, yeah, I'm a grandfather. <laughs> so house to us, it's like um, uh, lyrical. Mm-hmm. It's like vocals, and it's gotta have meaning and all that stuff. Mm. And then piano, you can't do that. Piano is about the vibes, mm. like chickeny beef, I beef, you yeah, know what I mean? like how they you know what I mean? those things. You can't yeah. make piano sound um, serious unless you're singing on it, like Shasha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which vocabs are doing very mm. well, but the point is to have fun. You know what I'm saying? The vibe, vibe music. Yeah, you're not trying to win a Grammy. I mean, you know, you know, come on, let's be serious. Well, one day, well, one day, but not with chicken and beef, but it's coming. I, I, as I told y'all, I'm working on the music, guys. I know you guys don't trust it, but it's coming, trust me. Do you think I'm, people don't trust your music? Dog, they don't. But I'm featuring pretty big artists. Yeah? <sighs> it's crazy. Why do you think that, though? No, because it's like people are not used to change, and that's what I like about myself. You know, it's like people still expect me to post dancing videos mm. and if I keep da- posting dance videos I'm not evolving and that's mm. why you guys will get tired of me mm. but now if I went from the dancing to the music from the music to the acting oh is that why you um, 
uh, did the revamp of your image because mm-hmm. you were like very cussy mm-hmm. when you came. I was out. very cussy, and then I'm like, change. You have to keep evolving, oh. and then you have to evolve when they're not ready for you to change. Mm-hmm. That keeps you interesting because now if you're changing and it's like, I okay, what what else can you do? You know, mm-hmm. so it's like I did the dancing. People weren't ready. They weren't comfortable, yeah. and that's what keeps people going because it's like okay, you might lose a couple of people, but you're gonna gain more as you go. But if Pori vi- vibes with your shit, who the fuck are they? What do yeah. they know? Trust me, I have like big artists, like international artists on my shit. It's crazy. Well, what shit are we talking about? Like nah, 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 an, an album of... or what? I'll tell you after. Nah. No, like some dope, some dope collabs. It's crazy. Fuck. Afro- like what sound are we going for? It. Like Afrobeats. Afrobeats. Yeah, like those big gents, yeah. Yeah. And how do they come across you? Like internet? They DM'd me. Like, yeah, DM. Like, dog, I fucks with your shit. Yeah. And I'm like, really? It's like, yeah, let's rock a check. I have like two international artists now. Nigerian guys, they're big. Three yeah. actually. Yeah. Wow. So Isn't that exciting? I'll give you five names. You'll pick. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's see. Burner Boy, Wiz Kid, Davido, Penta Ranking, and Mr. Easy. Ooh. Drop the- all of them. All of them. Oh, yeah. Any one of them in that list is fire. Two. Yeah. So two of five. Yeah. So you'll pick which one you think I deserve. Which one deserves me? Shit, and when you get in the studio with these guys, are you losing the, your mind? The, the whole thing is, I record this side, and then they record. We send it to each other. But I actually want to go rock that side, like go that side and actually meet them. Because a lot of people just send music, and they don't come together. Mm. You know, And it, it misses the whole thing. So I actually want to go then rock. This happened during COVID, so obviously I couldn't move much. You know? But come, you started... Dancing, singing last week. Mm, last last week, last of last week at six p.m. <laughs> now I'm like rocking. I'm rocking other way. <laughs> I'm rocking other things. You know what I'm saying? So it's fine. Fuck we me. Dog, Dude, you're doing shit in a year that most people don't do in their whole <laughs> career. I'm thinking like actually, this is really hectic. I don't, I don't understand it, but it's cool. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it. Maybe it's coming because, but like it's a whole thing of the. How how do you work the lucky you get? So if you work hard, you're gonna get get lucky of getting mm. all these things. You know, I can't I couldn't if I'm still like jobbering and I wasn't gonna get all this shit. You know, and I find you guys so amazing. When I say you guys, like you young guys, you know, mm-hmm. like Tabang Tabang's a is a young guy. I work with my camera guy. Mm-hmm. I was watching an interview with Lucas Raps as well. Uh, nasty C as well. Like everything you guys do, Nasty's moving, dog. Dude, oh. like you guys are so mature. Thank you. And everything is about energy like everything just as you guys are so fucking in charge, bro <laughs> thank you I think also because the opportunities now are like more broad but so you think you've had to um, grow up faster than maybe I would have at that at, time at, at that time yes because everything is so advanced um, I, I'm even going through shit that 20 year olds my, girls my age are not going through mm. stuff they don't even consider you know and it's fine because it comes with a blessing that's what you just have to understand you know, you're the chosen one, so you have to take it the whole way. Cause nasty, nasty's moving, dog. Yeah. And I look up to, not look up to him, but I, I, I. He's super dope. Where he's headed is like that's where I need to be, yeah. and not like him, but the way he's moving, his energy, the way he carries himself. You know, you look at certain things that you actually want to be one day, and that's where he's at. Where he's at, that's where I need to be. That's where I see myself. Yeah. In a year. Yeah. What's going on with the Instagram? Fuck, what is popping, bro? What do you mean, dog? I had to revamp. Yo, like COVID actually helped the whole thing because it was like just a switch up of the Gumball Pillar brand. Yeah. Where people actually have to take me seriously. What's the longest you, you, you go without your phone? I, I can tell like you always on I'm your phone. I'm always on my phone, dude. Yeah. But it's not like Instagram. It's like people are calling me because uh, I have to do something, you know. But yeah, the Instagram is coming alive now. Yeah. And I'm happy for it. Like I'm just positioning myself very well because it, it's bringing me a lot of brand work as well. So all those pictures are strategic? Mm. Mm. No, no, no strategy. No, no, no. Actually, I'm lying. Oh. It's just like post. Like, just post. I'm trying to be the first guy on that Instagram on page. On that page. Yeah. There's no guy. There won't be any guy. Yeah, Not I'm even my, be... my, my... You can post this interview. Just okay, say, yeah. kicking it with my bro. I can bro. actually rock it. Yeah, yeah. maybe, maybe. Hey. Actually, if a dope picture comes out, maybe. <laughs> you can actually rock it like this. Maybe you can... First guy. Oh, you're the first guy. Yeah, I want to be the first guy. Dog, are you, t- are you serious? <laughs> yeah. The twins are not there. Nothing. No folk or nothing. Nah, I didn't see them. I didn't see them. <laughs> not even Kaya. Okay, you're actually going to be the first guy. Yeah. No, let's go. Yeah. Do you get like mad if you don't get as many likes and shit? Does that shit bother you? 
it used to. Mm. I don't know. It mm. used to. Because it's like, you feel like you're not relevant anymore. Yeah. But you actually need to understand there's a whole lot of people. When I look at my statuses and the reach, there's a lot of people watching. Yeah. People just don't like. Yeah. So it's like, you still got it. People just don't like you because you elevated. I've never understood that. Why don't people like if they watch? Like, it's so weird. Dog, people just don't want to give you the credit that you need. And that's okay. But wait until you fuck up. Woo. Yes, They'll that's when they come for you. Because they're always watching to try get the negative you know to try pinpoint you to like what you fucked up what you did wrong but it's never a thing of when you're doing well they can never be like yo shout out dog you're doing very well because mm. they either all want your position or they don't want you to be where you are yeah and just that's how humans are man that's just the human mind so if you know that why are you still on instagram then it's like because I need it for my career. It's done a lot. Mm. Social media has done a lot for my career personally. Mm. So I still need to keep rocking. Yeah, it gets the bag, right? Ah, What's the it. biggest bag you've ever gotten? Uh, 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 uh. Can't say. More than 100k? <laughs> it's a like pretty cash for you. I can't say. No, what do you mean? No, <laughs> no, no, come on. I can't tell people. Now, actually, they won't book me anymore because they know that I'm rocking. So now. Okay, how much were you charging when you started? I used to charge 5k. 5k? Yeah. I was charging that 10 years Bro, ago. What do you mean? <laughs> Actually, 1K. I started 1K. 1K? Yeah. <laughs> Dog. I was so, so passionate. Don't come at me. Dog, why are you doing that? Guys, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with 1K. You can even start with 500 <laughs> telling me. You just have to walk there, dog. That 500 grand will make a difference. Then you actually see, actually, it's not the truth, dog. Yeah. Then you go to 2K. Yeah. 2K, now you see, I can't even buy McD. <laughs> Don't pay for the drive. Nah, I can't do shit, dog. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, I started 5K. Yeah. I actually started 1K and then I got drugged. Mm. Some Weesh. MC guy. Now he looks at me different. Now he wants to talk to me. I'm like, dog, you rocked me. Mm. You rocked me on the side. Like, am I most vulnerable? I actually had that go up. Mm. So I'm like, fuck you. What does rocked mean? Because I've got a different rocked idea. Me, like, what, what <laughs> is rocked to you? <laughs> like, rocked out. Close, like, close. Uh, no way, dog, no. When like, you keep saying fuck out, rocked me. me. Okay, I'm like, he yo. scammed me. He scammed me. <laughs> Guys, rocked means scamming, not this pp and intertwined stuff. No. It was rocked again. No way. No, 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 no. Don't rock the game. You're going to get sick. Eh? <laughs> Honey's a sick dog. It's, it's actually crazy. <laughs> Who are you dating right now? Are you seeing someone? No. For real. But you must get so much, <laughs> so many guys coming at you. I'm not in a really, I won't be in a relationship till I get married. So what does that mean? We just we just floating. We yeah, just like just, just vibing. It's like even if I'm dating, you guys wouldn't know. Yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. Also, there's someone that you're vibing with. No. Okay, that's a yes. No one exists. Oh, that's a Nothing yes. at all. No one. They don't deserve me. No. Do you think when guys come up to you, they just want to fuck you because you come on pale? They like, can never just hit and run. That's what I know. But I'm just saying. Like, oh, you're one of those when you're in, you're in. Yeah, it's like if you're inside, you're actually chilling, dog. You're chilling inside. Hey. <laughs> hey, those are the dangerous ones. Hey. <laughs> no, man. But niggas, like, niggas have weird intentions. And it's just really hard for me to have relationships with brews because I am like a brood honey. Oh, you know? I chill with gents. Yeah. I don't chill with honeys, you know. Yeah. And now... Uh, my problem is if girls or people, the public sees me with the brood, it's like, oh, she's fucking this nigga. Yeah, isn't that And it's weird? like, it's like really fucked up because I, dude, I could be chilling with you. I could post you and then it's like, yeah, she's fucking him. Yeah, let's do that. No, let's not do I'm that. I'm trying to get 100,000 no, trying to get the juice, my nigga. Yo. No, I'm <laughs> doing the juice like that. That's like a different juice. Now they come at me, I saw your man. <laughs> like, there's some crazy shit. I got a DM from some guy and he was like, your man is not good for you. He's fucking you up. But here's my number. Call me. Yeah. I'm like, my brood. You also trying to rock me yeah. So I, I've experienced A whole lot of stuff like that Do you remember when you Broke your virginity? <laughs> I, I'm still a virgin Ah Fuck I didn't know my name I'm ah, telling you yeah. No I just speak it a lot But uh, I don't know Where The other one answers Where's the entering And the exiting I don't know Trust Dude me. you did a whole episode On your YouTube About smash and pass Bruh what do you mean? I just like smash Like just like Tap, tap, you know, tap my nigga. Like, yo, what's good, baby? But it's like... <laughs> if, I, if I smash you, it would be my bio. <laughs> Why? Why? Why would you do that? But like, what's, what's up with niggas? Like, yeah? tell me, what, why would... I mean, actually, it's, it's, bragging, it's bragging rights, yo. So it's bragging rights. Yeah. Like, so that means I can't tap anybody. If when I, The day I do break my virginity. You gotta be smart. You mustn't tap a youngster. You must tap a, 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 a man. But you know, in the game, it's very difficult because you can't tap outside the game. Because niggas is talking But you can't tap inside the game Because niggas are recycling Hey woo, So which one is it? That's better than chicken and beef Buzz <laughs> 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 Oh yes 
shit in the game, the recycling. Mm, it's like a recycle. Yo, it's a reuse, reuse. Fuck, I never thought about it like that. It is. It's actually really hectic. Like, this nigga was with this one and yo. Mm-mm. And then you can't go outside because he's you just going to go fuck up your whole shit. Like, whole so shit. what do you do? That's what I'm asking. Get a vibrator? You got a vibrator? No, dog. Shit, but you can like, for that. It's not, it's not meaty. Mm. It has no meat. But you know this. I don't know how many guys you've been with, but there's a guy out there who's like, fuck, I've, he's telling all his friends that he smashed you. Yeah, a lot. I've, I've, I, the other time I went on a boat cruise with friends, came back, apparently I smashed the nigga. <laughs> I've never even looked that nigga's direction. I've heard so many bad stories about that nigga's size that I would never go there. Yeah. Even when I do decide to break my virginity. So. Are you the type of girl who does like cartwheels and all those dances on a nigga? Like in the bedroom? <sighs> what? What? what, what, what? Cause I've been I've been with a dancer before. You and guys I, are flexible. Really? Yeah, Apparently, shit. dancers are like dope at that thing. Yeah, that's what I'm asking you. Do you no. do like cotton? I'm a virgin, dog. So how would I know? No, no, no. <laughs> Probably swirl gopeta on it. Pasha <laughs> do the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, scent it on it. I was like, drop it, dog. That Pasha, that split one. You know that one that comes like just sit on it, dog. Things go crazy. I'm telling you. <laughs> gopeta the whole thing. Yeah. No, I'm joking. Though. No, no, no. I'm a virgin, daddy. If you're watching this. <laughs> and Your then what, what type of guys are you into? I like what I like. I, I don't have a specific type, but I've realized I have a specific type in the characteristics of it, of niggas. Mm. I like I like danger khafar. What's that? Like ingos, you know those dangerous niggas. Like not danger, like but like Bad the playboys. Yeah, oh. I've actually realized fuck like boys. I actually like fuck boys. Mm. I'm attracted to fuck boys. I don't know why. Yeah, and I need to stop that. Fuck boys just have a thing, a cool aura about them. They Dog. just look, look cool. I like fuck boys and then I want to change them. Like, that's <laughs> my whole thing. I want to be fixing people. And it's like, Gamu. It will end in tears. It will, you will always cry, dog. So now, <laughs> I, I ain't even going that direction. I'm not going any direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've really seen niggas, my characteristics. Because I go for different guys. Okay. But the personalities and the way they act is very similar. Mm. So I'm just like, okay, fuck this so shit. So you're not about color like dark. No, 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 no. Uh, I like what I like. Yeah. Whether you're tall, short, dark, as long as you're pretty, handsome. Mm-hmm. Have any of these blessers tried to hit you up? Yeah, I don't like blessers, dog. Yeah. Oh, they come in with other vibes. And I feel like if I go for a blesser, I'll be so lazy. Yeah. You know? But it's like if if a nigga gives you money, it's dope, man. Like 40k. Drop a 40k, bro. It's cool. You know, it's all Gucci. But yeah. no, I don't like blessers. It's so weird because like it's like a thing now. It is. I'm it's, sure these slay queens are looking at you like, you actually working? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Bruh, I was, <laughs> there's some story in the streets that I was driving a Mercedes and it's like, it's her blesser's car. I'm like, bro, if you know I sh- I'm paying for that shit. You got a Mercedes? Me. No, 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 not now. Nah, not yet. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, I was driving a friend's Mercedes, dog. Yeah, yeah. And then the whole thing was, I was driving her blesser's Mercedes. Yeah. I'm like, bro, no. It's not like that. Mm. I'm not going to do that. And if I do get a car, none of y'all niggas will know what car I drive because y'all are nosy as fuck. Yeah. I just want a private. They must like me for my work. Yeah. That's all. And have you ever dated anyone famous? Yeah. Mm. I have. How was that? Um, I liked him. You know, mm. I really liked him. And are you going to tell us who it is? No. Mm. But I liked him. He was a cool gent, man. He was just Does he too... like chicken or beef? He likes niggy niggy. <laughs> he likes niggy niggy. He likes these famous honeys, dog. Oh, I actually okay. realized like he's a he's a very hectic recycler as well. How can we uh decipher this? Who he is? Like No, you can't. You can't catch it. Like you guys nobody can catch it. Have you Every- said him in a, in a song? Has he been in my song? No, have you said like thrown hints in a song or something? No, no, no. I would never. I just don't put my life out like that. But yeah, he was just a very hectic recycler. But now he's my boy because I understand it. You know, at first I was like, oh, "You're such trash," mm. but now I'm just like, "Dog, it's something I had to go through." Mm. But you're in the game, and I came in knowing what you are, so it's cool. It's yeah. all Gucci, maybe. And 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 do you, do you, have you ever been hurt though? Yeah, fuck, fucking on. hurt, dog. So how my so precious heart, you dog. I don't deserve it. Now you think it's deserving? I'm joking, man. Yeah. But yeah, I want to break someone's heart. Maybe one day. Hey, you know, if I was 10 years younger. Oh, dog, yeah. Rocky. <laughs> do the rock that you say, rock now. Let's go the whole time. <laughs> Let's All right, go cool. now. All right, listen. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna play a game. It's called Mary Kill and Fuck. You ready? Okay. Are you ready for Which this one? Which level is All right, this cool. One? Let's go. Mary Kill and Fuck. Which one is this one? Which level? Okay. Um, kill a cow, jobe, focalistic. Mary Kill or Fuck? 
all three of them? Yeah. Which choose. one I'd kill? Which one would you kill? Which one would you marry? Which one would you fuck? You. Mm. Kill a cow. So I can't kill all of them. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 I would kill Chobe. Chobe, yeah, he didn't pay you. Fuck him. Yeah. No, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Chobe paid me. Don't listen to this food. <laughs> You're going to get me into trouble. <laughs> I would marry um, Folka. Folka. I'd marry Folka and fuck Killer. Killer. Yeah. I'd, do, I'd do it like that, maybe. Is he that good, Killer, then? I've never fucked Killer, but oh. he lo- he's fucked one of my homies, so apparently he can rock. Ooh. Yeah. Rock the boat. You know, you see how he does this, Jepa. It's like, <clears throat> yeah. His come up is also crazy. His come up is social media as well. Yeah. It's like, stop. It's really dope. Shit. And you guys came up same time, mm. no? No, he came up a year before me. With Toluguti. Was it a year or two? Yeah. He came up two years before me and then I came later on because he's a year. No, a year because he's a year older than me. Yeah. No, actually two years because yeah. I actually failed the grade. You failed the grade? Mm. Wow. I failed grade, grade 11. Grade, who, who failed grade 11? Dog, that's the only time I started studying after I failed that grade. Eh? <laughs> I was like, whoa, shit. But let's be honest, grade 11 is harder than grade 12. Grade 11 is harder than grade 12, but it's crazy because I was like dancing my whole way throughout high school. Then I got to grade 11, I was like, okay, actually, this is a stop sign. You know, I got CC and take the shit seriously. I was like, oh. oh. I actually failed grade 11, guys. It was like a hectic experience. Yo, yeah, yeah. I've never experienced that type of pain in my life. But that's why I can't fail now. Yeah, I had to go through it, yeah. you know, but it was like really hectic. I only started actually studying after I feel grade 11 like actually studying in the books studying learning how to because I used to be that hand who listens in class and then you just rock you know when you get to the exam it's like no man teacher spoke about this yeah Yeah, but it was really hectic yeah and and, and when you go back the next year and everybody's in grade 12 you're in grade 11 yo dog it's like yo I used to look at it like yo I was even scared I was like oh my gosh but actually, I rocked them because I told them, I'm like, one day you're going to be chilling in the, uh, what, Concha, what's this thing? General? Yeah. I'll be upstairs there by zone six, hey. looking down on you. A crazy thing had happened. Wow. Last year. Are you still friends with anyone from, from, from high school? No, just my dancer. Oh, shit. Mm, so you've friend. known them from like way I've back. I've known them from way back. Yeah. Those are the people that I'm riding with because yeah. they're not off the money. They, That's always They good. all know the vision. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Energy. Remember energy. Energy is a big thing. You guys like, are big about energy. Nah, you can't rock somebody. You swear it's a currency. <laughs> <laughs> energy is a really important thing. It's yeah. very important. All right, cool. We got Kaya Bengu, Robert Boy, Banele from Major League. Who would you marry, kill, and fuck? You, 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 you. I'd kill Vanille. Mm. I would fuck Kaya. Mm. But you already have though. No. Ah. I've never fucked Kaya. Ah. Well, Kaya's my photographer. He's my homeboy. Yeah. And we then, know what happens after hours with photographers. No, fucking race, dog. <laughs> Kaya's like so young. No, Kaya's my age. So now imagine the conversation that we're going to have. Because He's shooting his shot. Literally. No, 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 no. He's, Kaya's like always trying to go for my friends. Yeah. And he never, he must just go. Kaya's going through something. Actually, I'm actually worried about him. How do you meet him? I met him through Foka and the ah. twins. Yes. No, but he's like my boy, dog. Can yeah. never. For Kaya. Oh, no, he's yeah. not in a bad way, but yeah. Yeah. So Robert I'll probably boy. marry Robert Boy. Mm. Yeah. Is he marriage material? He he looks like marriage material. I've had a couple of conversations. He's very caring. Robert Boy is very caring and very genuine. Mm. That's what I've picked up about him. So he'd probably be like a man. And his height makes sense. Mm. Yeah, I can't be marrying somebody gonna look like You know, I'm so lost. I don't know any of these guys. There's like a whole Don't lie. Then how did you get the names? Ah, it's called research. <laughs> So, how do you get all these days? This is so hectic. These days, what my name? They can't Oh, God. Oh, God. No, I heard you were smashing one of the twins. No. Yeah. People are always sucking. Well, this whole thing. Apparently, I smashed Killer. Apparently, I smashed... Uh, who's this? Apparently, I smashed Foka and the twins. One of That's the twins. fucked up. So, literally, basically, you can't be seen next to another man. I can't be seen with another man because everybody's going to think, rock the boats. Mm-hmm. But if you were, if you did fuck any of these guys, would you say it? No. Yeah. Mm. No, I wouldn't. You see? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what I say? No, no, no. I can't give them the juice like that. You ain't got a juice like that because they'll use it against you and that's what I'm saying. Uh... I've studied the game so much. It's like, even if you would rock somebody or do a public stunt, Everybody's going to put you against that person for the rest of your life. And I don't need myself meeting my Drake husband 
in the next two, three years, and then he hears about a maybe Kamofak the Kila or Foka, mm. and then he's looking at it like, why would you do? Why would you do that? Okay, out of all those, um, for the sake of the podcast, mm -hmm. out of all those names, is there one you could have possibly fucked, but won't say right now? Just one. Am I speaking the truth or I'm still lying? <laughs> no, speak the truth. <laughs> could have been one, eh? Just one. <laughs> Dated, yeah. One. Niggy, niggy, just one niggy. Dated, yeah. Dated one, eh? mm. <laughs> <laughs> Was no. it killer? No, or no, was he no, 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 no. None of them. <laughs> <laughs> Which league? <laughs> none of them. The, wow. the, 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 yeah, no, no, no. I think I know who it is. There's no, nobody. There's a guy you mentioned, and when you said his name, your eyes lit up. Who? Kaya. No, guys, no ways. Can I show you chats with Oh, no, it's Kai. <laughs> Kai is like, oh, this is so weird, though. No, not Kaya. I feel like your guessing game is so wrong. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll tell you after. It's cool. Right, so, you cool, know. Cool. Uh, come on, man. It's been such an awesome time to have you here. Oh, by the way, this is the last installment of Amped by Old Mutual. Because uh, we've been doing like an eight part installment. So really? this is the last one. Yeah. I'm the last. Save the best for last. Yeah. The 100%, whole time. Thank man. you. <laughs> Like they got this cool thing. Like you see where we're at now. Mm -hmm. You see these studios. Like anybody can come use them for free. You lie. Yeah. And they Why don't you hit me up? Like yeah, you can come record something yeah. with the piano lab. Yeah. That'd and then there's so a dope. stage downstairs. You can use the stage. You lie. They'll advise you about contracts, anything they need eh, for new upcoming artists. Um, and I get on the show. I always have my WhatsApp number. Mm -hmm. So I've been getting so many WhatsApp from so many upcoming artists because they want yeah. the platform. Don't hit me up. Hit ampstudios.co.za www.ampstudios.co.za Not me That's pretty dope though Yeah, That's yeah dope. What advice would you give Upcoming artists, man? Because there's a lot Yo, I get so many WhatsApps uh, I feel like the biggest thing That people go through is Be real with yourself You know mm. If you have to keep getting better, get better Work on your craft Stop thinking you're the best thing That happened off the water it's not like that. It doesn't work like that. And everybody's just in their own world and bubble. Go out and research and find out how to do better for yourself and how to improve yourself. Because that's why I don't hate Twitter. They give constructive criticism at a certain point, even though it's full of like some bad apples, you know. So just better yourself, man. Keep getting better. Learn how to make yourself better. Work on your craft because, well... No ways. Yeah, that is true. It's like, actually bad. It's actually really bad. These SoundCloud niggas, rappers, no. Yeah. Actually, need to just work on it and be real. Because they don't. They have these people that are just lying to them. You know, like oh no, shit popping, and it's just not popping. Yeah. So you need to be able to be like, actually, you know, no, I need to actually keep getting getting better. Yeah. All right. This has been Amp Studios by Old Mutual. Final installment. Uh, come on, Bella. Let's wrap it up. Are you still shooting the movie? Yeah, well, oh, nice. yeah, I'm still, I'm still moving. This is why you're going to Cape Town? Yeah. Oh, nice. I'm still working on a couple of stuff, dude, but I just don't want to say it so it shocks the game. Yeah. So it's like a bit of d -d 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 -d. people yeah. must, you know, what's the, what's this girl doing to the game? Yeah. I just wanted to rock like that. But... So you enjoy acting? No. Oh, oh, oh yeah, because of the yeah. retake. But I just like the fact that I'm doing Gamompela. Mm. I'm dancing in the video. Oh, in the movie. oh so, so it's that's like, not, that's not. So it's like a really not a bad it's thing. It's a big, big movie. Like, it's a huge... Netflix shit. No! <laughs> nah. Oh, Level. Massive. It's it's really it's a really dope big opportunity. And it has a lot of big dancers there. Mm. A lot of big people there. Mm. What does Sumizi think about you? Because he's a I've never I've heart. never met like I've met Sumizi but I've never had a conversation with him. Oh, wow. The only pe person I've met was Buntle Mudisele. She's dope. She's so organic. Mm. So one of the people that I actually like in the industry. Mm. Yeah. That's the only person. Danta, yeah. And then so it's his finest. Oh, they've been my, my boys. Niggas. But they've been my boys. Hey, but they come from my generation. Dog, they're like your age. <laughs> all of them. All of them are still dancing. Spuja, Vosho. The whole thing. And it's like, dog, you've been in this fucking game for so long. I have been in the game, dog. No way. See? Yeah. Even before I blew up, I was dancing for them. Yeah. And now we're still doing shit together. They're pretty dope. I was so sad for them because like they finally got their break with that song, the big Digo song. Lush, and then COVID yeah. happened and I was like, I was like, Actually, you need to go speak to your ancestors. This doesn't make sense. <laughs> no, you've been hustling. They've been hustling. It's yeah. crazy. Uh, dance studio? You're still doing the dance studio? No, 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 no. No, mm. no, no. I I'll, I'll probably do dance lessons. Personally, because I don't want to be a choreographer. Like, 
I can put shit together, but that's not where I'm headed. And I don't want to be confusing people. It's like, next thing, no. So if you see me dancing, just know that's my shit. I'm dancing to my own music. I'm doing my own mm-hmm. shit. And then rather love me for my dancing and music. And that's the music I'm working on. So it's coming. Don't worry. Uh, what you- Climax level. <laughs> it's cool. I love the way you speak, bro. You're teaching me these new things. These new things. I gotta <laughs> catch them. Level. Level. <laughs> to, to level. I, I, I recently watched the 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 Ricky Rick episode when it was on Microwave Boys. Mm-hmm. He's like, which one is this? Which one, one is this one? It's the other level. The Ricky Ricky is so in touch with the youth. That's why, he, like, Ricky that is funny. so. That guy is like, he's 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 very smart. He's so in touch with the youth. It's crazy. He well, can never he can never die out. What would you say to people that say you must stick to dancing? Uh, to people that say I must stick to dancing, they're the same people that are going to be tweeting and Instagramming and saying we're proud of you. Mm. So, period. Mm. Point blank. Mm. And I'm not being cocky, but I just know where I'm going. And that's what people don't understand. It's not cockiness. Mm. It's just understanding what you, what your purpose is. And what do you think about people that say Gamu is a girl with many faces? I do really have a lot of faces, but that's legendary, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you've seen have you seen your pictures though some of them like you do <laughs> no that's because of, uh, I changed my hair a lot like yesterday I had pink hair mm. then I have blonde hair ah. and then I have so obviously I'm gonna shape shift a lot yeah. yeah will we ever see you without your uh, weave my wig mm. no, 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 no 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 ever no can never happen what the hell I thought I put it on flight mode Kika, yeah, he's calling. No, dog, it's like, never, I can never be, dude, I'm not with Kai. <laughs> I, never, my wig off. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, You can probably see me in braids, but it will take a lot for you guys to see me with my actual hair. Yeah. Not because I'm not comfortable, but it's like so weird. Oh, so but there's weird. some girls when they take off the weave, like, hey. and then you're like, baffle, like that's a baffle level. Maybe come up gonna be a baffle. It's like, what if I'm a baffle dog? I, you guys can't see the baffle. Maybe the intimate ne- niggas gonna see the baffle level. But How was it shooting the Busiso video? That looked dope, bro. Dog, that was like, like whop wow. another. Wow. But we shot it last year, and that's why people don't understand. The mm. song was recorded last year, the video was recorded last year. You know, it was really dope because the energies made so much sense and she's one of the people that I really like um, I am drawn to on a different level so mm. she's really dope and you know I'm one of those people like before we started the interview I really didn't know mo- much about you mm-hmm. didn't know what was happening I'm like like I thought it was like a gimmick mm-hmm. but now that I chill with you and I chat to you like I actually get the vision you so know what, what are your thoughts tell me your thoughts tell me your real thoughts tell me what to do better tell me Hey, Tell you're asking the wrong not person. To do wrong. Hey, you're asking the wrong. I'm the hey, I fucked no, up so I'm, many times. But you've seen that. That's 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 why you're the right person. Because you fucked up so many times. You can actually tell me, don't do this, do that. Like, I really want some constructive criticism. I really need that. I, some I, realness. Look, the only thing I'll say, uh, this is just top of my head. Anything else I'll say to you off air or whatever. Mm-hmm. I think like it's important, and as much as you want to do all these things that you take a moment and just enjoy the ride. You know, I know you want to be a music a music mogul and do all this shit. Cool. Like everything happens for a reason, you know, and everything has its timing. And I feel like a lot of people don't, like a lot of people look at my career because like when I was your age, I was mm-hmm. doing the same shit pretty much, you know, but I was DJing, mm-hmm. traveling, not as big as you. I was just traveling in Joburg, mm-hmm. you know, gigs every weekend or whatever. And I fucked up a lot of times. What did you do? Like, you know, I wasn't focused. Okay. You see, like, you fucking focused. That's why I'm like, yo, dude, <laughs> how do you become so mature? <laughs> you understand? Yeah. But what what happened, what transpired in my 20s was experience. Mm. And Something you can't, you can, you can't, you can't take it, that away. That's true. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I'm sitting here in 10 years time doing a podcast talking about all those same experiences. So I feel like people chase the vision and the money and the fame too much and forget mm-hmm. about actually the, the actual ride. Ex- the, the ride. You know, because like Nasty C wants to be a billionaire mm-hmm. when he's 35. But the the, the, the beauty is between now and <laughs> 35, the ride between the, the ride and how he's getting there the and billion. what he's learning. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's where the beauty is. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and I just want you to like enjoy the ride, man. Don't stress too but, much about all this other but shit. But how do, like my whole thing is how do you enjoy the ride when you have so many other things to take care of like there's beauty in enjoying 
like what's this? I was listening to some J. Cole song that's my favorite, Beauty in the Struggle, Ugliness in the Success, you know? Mm. And it's like, yes, it's easy to say enjoy the ride, but it's not, you can't enjoy the ride because that's when people drop the ball. Mm. And that's the same mistake so many people have made. I told you I was the wrong person. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> What what you're saying makes so much sense Mm. and that's just the truth but it's also very tricky to do that because you get into a position like me maybe now I'm I'm in this position and then I start doing shit that I never used to do and I forget what actually put me in this position Mm. in the first place you know what I'm saying Mm. that's a mistake that you made Mm. but that's what I'm learning from from speaking to you Mm. right now you know what I'm saying I know I live my life yo now you're rocking though. Me and rock one day, it's fine. I'm still rocking, but it's like, just always keep in mind. Yeah. It's like, yeah, just have fun, man. Yeah, fuck. Time. But life is amazing, man. You're life doing amazing crazy. things. Thank you. Thank you so much, Come. When are you having me on your YouTube channel? On my YouTube channel. We can even rock, eh? The whole, the anytime. Yeah, stop. What, what I are we told talk you, about? stop saying rock. <laughs> Give me ideas. No, it's my lingo. It's like, yo, come alive. Like, my favorite one is come alive. When I say come alive, just know it's actually really bad. Like, actually, you're dead, dog. Yeah. Like, no, dog, you need to come alive with something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. come on, Bella. Thank you so much. It's been awesome. So we've got the music. We're touring. Mm-hmm. It's level one now. Oh, mm-hmm. is it level two or level one? Whatever level it is. Bella, child, yeah, 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 child, yeah, yeah. Level. What else are you busy with? You can people check you out. What's going on? Uh, so it's like, this is like a small intro of myself. Yeah. Or what? Yeah. Yo, what's good, people? What is the show called again? Podcast and Chill Podcast with Mag G. Chill with Mag G. Yes. Yo, what's good people? Come up here like, yeah, welcome to Podcast or Bye from the Podcast Chill with Mag G. Uh, catch me on all my social medias. Come up here like double score and double X. Come up underscore double X. All my social medias. Catch me on YouTube. Catch me everywhere. Check out my music. Same. Come on here um, Dropping a toy next year. Dropping a clothing line. Doing the whole thing. Taking it to the top the whole time. Yes, sir. Shout out to Mag G. Yeah. The real Mac G, not the, the designer. The real, not the designer Mac G. This is the real level. The come alive level. The rocket level Mac G. So yeah, check it out. can't believe you didn't know what the name of the show is. I feel so old, bro. <laughs> no, dude, that's because my dad is coming like, yo, Mac G. But it's like, your show is not called Mac G. It's like, yeah, Mac G, you need to go. And I'm thinking, Mac G has a show. <laughs> Make sure that I'm talking when she has a show. It's like, no, the other level, Big G. The older Big G. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, Doug. Uh, so it's cool. Podcast so and chill. <laughs> we are. We are, baby. <laughs> oh, fuck, so, that was awesome. That is so well, but, well, quite a lot of other things I wanted to ask is already, you know, mentioned them. Uh, but, I mean, what, what, what were your struggles? Uh, I mean, for your... For you to be recorded for the first time and to, 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 to produce demos or to go into some people and say, hey, I have a song, can you listen to me? Because I get quite a lot of that at my post box at home in my Melody Gardens. When I open there, there's like, you know, demos and everything and letters, you know. And so I'm just like, hey, okay, fine. I'll, I'll phone back, you know, and look, come in, let's talk. Let me tell you what we have to do. And I've got a foundation, I've got a school. Um, other people thinking that no, they just want to come there and then you know make it and be be a star. It's not like that. It's it's quite quite a lot of work. You have to build the dream, but also to get to have the know-how and have the people who will help you to gather around that. So what would you start with? Were you you struggle? How how did it happen that you know your first album? So I never, unlike most aspiring musicians, I never thought that it could ever actually happen. So it kind of just sat in that basket of dreams where you, I don't know, it's just like something like, I wish I could be uh, next to Jay-Z right now. <laughs> like, you know, like it's, it's, it's something that you think like, ah, like I, you know, I, we spoke about it, like I wish I could write a song with Dave Matthews. It's something that you think about, but you don't really believe it's true. So for me, music, like music was always this like far-fetched dream. and. And how, how music happened for me was pretty random, but it, 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 there's a lesson in it for me, is that I, I, I went for it and I did something that was really out of my comfort zone. There was this DJ playing in, in, in Johannesburg in, on a rooftop. I was invited to this party and I was just at a party and then he was playing nice beats and I was a really shy guy and I don't know why, but I really, I went up to the DJ and I said to the DJ, hey, can I pick up the mic and can I sing over your beats? Um, the DJ was Dr. Duda, who's, who's the one, uh, one wow. third of Mikasa. Um, and he was like, sure. And then I started jamming. And then 
the 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 guy that was promoting the party he had a brother and his brother Most. played trumpet and he called his brother and he was like yo there's a vibe happening you should come and play with these two guys so mo came and he me and him started sharing the mic um i didn't know him and i didn't know duda and um and we just started jamming and then everybody afterwards were like oh my god can we get your album and can we take pictures and i was like yo i first need to meet these guys <laughs> we don't know anything so I didn't have the struggle of handling demos because I, this thing just happened. And I think that that for me is like one of the things that I sincerely believe in is that your life will happen. And the way that it happens is the way that it's supposed to happen. And everybody has a story. And there's a purpose. <laughs> and there's a beautiful purpose over everybody's life. And I think that for me when I look back and I think like, wow, like that moment, if I had not done it, would it have happened? But it's, it's, it's irrelevant because I did it. If you had not come here and picked up something that triggered your mind, that triggered an activation in your body, if you didn't come here, it wouldn't have happened, but you did. This is the way that life pans out. And then the, the party was being hosted by Soul Candy. Soul Candy at the time had never put out an artist. They were always doing DJ compilations. So they then said, yo, you guys can make a band. And then, and then I had to beg uh, Dr. Duda because he was already an established brand. And for three months, he just kept saying, no, dude, like I'm a DJ, like I've got my own thing. And I just said, just do one song. Let me get into studio with you for one song. Um, and then we wrote These Streets. And then next thing I knew, it was like, wow, we're gone. <laughs> it was crazy. Like when I look back, it's just so fast. But, but I think that the, the lesson for me is, and it's something that I've carried through in my career, is act on this. Because I, I believe that we were intricately designed by a higher power and God has purpose over our lives, man. And, and I, we don't know what it is, but there's, there's a reason why somebody loves radio and I don't like radio. I never want to be a radio personality. I love radio. And you love it, right? There, there, there's a reason and it's, it's one of the things that fascinates me about life is how beautifully sewn together we are and how different we are yet how common we are. And just, it's beautiful. So I didn't have the struggle of handling demos. Um, it kind of happened, it birthed out of a moment. Um, but I know a lot of people that are hustling with demos and things like that, and it's, it's part of the, it's, it's the normal story. I'd say it's a more traditional story, rather. Thank you.